Oh my god, that right there. Yes, this is the PC beta experience. I know how to streak with it though. Hold up. Hold up. 12. 13. Sorry. 15. Oh, I didn't need to challenge that when I was low. No. What's going on guys, it's Rage, and welcome to the Modern Warfare 3 PC Beta. I played all of Weekend 1 on PS4, and to absolutely nobody's surprise, the PC Beta has been a much better experience so far. I know, right? This news is completely shocking. On the real though, as far as the PC Beta has gone so far, I haven't had any problems with it. It's been running very smooth for me. Haven't had any problems with crashing, or really anything like that at all. Now, I wanted to go ahead and quickly run through my settings for you all real quick. For me, when it comes to the quality settings, I usually leave a lot of my textures on normal, and a lot of the like extra other settings on high just because I want the game to look good for YouTube videos as well as clips. I'm not someone who completely tanks my settings just for the sake of FPS. Now, one thing that I was actually trying today was a different upscaling here. I was told to try out the uh, Fidelity FX with some sharpening on it and it does look pretty good. Now, usually I use uh, NVIDIA DLSS and I'll set it to balanced. I know this is gonna sound blasphemous and I'm probably gonna get roasted for this, but for the three years that I've had my current 3080 build, I haven't got it properly optimized. I haven't really done anything Anything like overclocking or you know really going in there to get the best possible frames I, I haven't done that so if you guys have any recommended settings that you guys think I should try out by all means go ahead and let me know but again as far as the settings that I run I mostly have everything on normal to high settings and I would say on average I get anywhere between like 130 FPS to 170 180 on most maps and it feels perfectly fine so here for weekend two earlier today on Friday they added search and destroy to the mix gonna be checking that out for a video later on we also now have high rise in the mix for the mosh pit and it has been so much fun like the amount that i've been playing this game and streaming it has been disgusting i really have not gotten off this game i have been having a complete blast with it first match here is going to be on hardpoint estate oh boy Spawns are something I am still trying to learn. What I'm really hoping Sledgehammer does at some point this weekend is give us the option to choose what individual game mode we want to play instead of it just being a mosh pit. Because right now with the way that the spawns are working, I know we've talked a little bit about this, how they kind of seem a little sporadic, for lack of a better term. Sporadic and sometimes just downright confusing. Like, I'm gonna be honest, man, domination on high rise has got to be one of the most confusing experiences for me right now. It's just weird. Like, we'll have C and B flag. I'll be spawning at A. I'll be spawning underground like 80 85% of the match. In short, what I'm really hoping that they end up doing with the spawns is making it more in line with how the original MW2 spawns were, but we'll see how that plays out. So again, though, like I was just saying a little bit ago, I know they added search and destroy here, but I'm really hoping they give us the option to just search for individual game modes because the most fun that I'm having right now is playing hardpoint and learning how these classic maps play on hardpoint. It's been a whole lot of fun, and honestly, for the most part, I feel like uh, they got the spawns down pretty all right for this game mode right now. Like again, having the hardpoint in the house, I feel like fighting over the middle choke points like spawning at the boathouse right there or spawning in the greenhouse if you're on the opposite team right now it makes sense i really just want to learn how this is all playing out in hardpoint and i'm having the most fun with this again right now all right my fault face snoop kind of getting to the point that i find myself just fishing for lobbies and it's already over man i'm so sad also one quick thing i want to mention real quick i do apologize if i sound completely disgusting right now been feeling kind of sick and nasally recently but i'm starting to get over it like this morning when i woke up was the first time i didn't wake up with a sinus headache been getting a little bit better but again i still feel like i'm losing my voice so i apologize if i sound weird also here for weekend two as you guys can see they increased the level cap to 30 i finally got access to the longbow so here's the loadout that I've been running on the longbow and I feel like I'm doing something wrong here like this has got to be one of the weirdest snipers I have ever used in Call of Duty maybe I'm just not used to it I feel like I may have said this in my last video but the longbow here really does remind me of the outlaw from Black Ops 4 at least in terms of its performance because the thing is it's super fast and it can one shot to the upper chest now I do get a lot of hit markers with this thing I'm not gonna lie I get a decent amount of hit markers with it but at the same time like when your shot is on with it it's something else man like it is 
ridiculously fast. It has the outlaw feel in terms of its balance with its speed and damage because it's super fast but also kind of weak. Thing is at the same time though I find it extremely ironic that this is a sniper yet at long range this thing is trash. I've got the damage range barrel on it. I've also got the uh, ammo that I think increases some damage range and bullet velocity and I still feel like in the traditional sniping role with this thing it just doesn't work. Really ever since I got my level maxed out and also got the uh, KV inhibitor maxed out I've just been using this non-stop and it's fun but at the same time I'm not gonna lie I am struggling but also maybe at the same time it could just be a complete skill issue or something like that I, I don't know that's probably what it is also I sure do love getting drop shot by UMPs this uh, yes yeah, so much fun so yeah along with the graphic settings and everything else if you guys have uh, some specific longbow loadouts that you guys feel like I should try go ahead and let me know that as well Maybe one of these days I'll hit my shot. My god, man. I'm also really not used to it in the sense of how fast it is. Because again, on Black Ops 4 PC, you wouldn't dare use the outlaw. Unless you're someone that consistently hits headshots. We all know the song and dance of how the Black Ops 4 snipers were treated on PC. Completely different. I don't need to remind you guys how the BO4 snipers were treated. But just in case you didn't already know. Yes, they were nerfed specifically on PC. The outlaw on PC specifically would only one shot to the head. It would only one shot to the upper body if you got like the smallest window hitbox. As opposed to the console counterpart where you can literally slap a silencer on and still shoot someone in the stomach and get a one shot. It was, it was crazy. I still remember my man, Kenny KSD, got that one suppressed outlaw triple on console. And I'm like, you guys have no idea how lucky you have it. Thing of it is, obviously, I'm not used to using the outlaw. I'm really not used to using these kind of snipers that are like that fast. And I feel like my timing and pacing with it are so off right now. I've always had a preference of those slower, heavier hitting snipers. Maybe not exactly like the ZRG. I like the style of the COD 4 bolts on the m40 the r700 like a little bit faster in games like mw2 mw3 the intervention the msr but in more recent call of duties i would prefer something like the ax50 or the springfield in cod world war ii the tundra in cold war like i'm not someone who's like all for like the fast speed have to almost hit headshots like all the time like yeah okay yeah it, i guess it is a skill issue i just preferred like the slower heavier hitting snipers but the thing is i've been using the kv so much over the first weekend that i just want to use the longbow right now just to see if i can really get it down. But also, I'm kind of curious to see like what other snipers we're going to have in this game on the full launch of it, besides having the ones from Modern Warfare 22 when they do the whole carry forward thing. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, there's times where I feel like I can shoot him in the collarbone and I still get hit markers. I also feel like at times when I land shots like that, where I feel like I'm just half scoping, it's really accurate. Like that. Was the three jumps necessary? I really don't know what it is about this beta, but it really does feel like skill-based matchmaking is like cranked all the way up in this right now. I don't really know if this is like a giant uh, tinfoil hat conspiracy of how the skill-based matchmaking works because we all know that it's in Call of Duty. It's not a surprise. It's a constant topic of debate like every single year, especially during the beta phases of the game, but it feels like my lobbies as of recent have been cranked up a lot. And I don't know if it's just because of the beta, like maybe because of the short amount of time that we really have and like the players that are kind of, you know, on the fence about buying this game that don't spend a lot of time playing it. All right, that was kind of a nice shot. It's like, if you're in the really insane lobbies, there's a good chance you've already bought the game, already got the Vault Edition ready to go. But then on the other end of the spectrum where you have like your very casual Call of Duty player who's just, you know, checking it out, especially while it's going free to play today on Saturday, the lobbies have got to be night and day different. I share a very common opinion with a lot of players that I don't really like fighting for my life in casual lobbies. If I wanted to play in a skill-based lobby for rank, we should go play ranked for it. It's just wild to think about like how vastly different it's been since Modern Warfare 2019, where it's been this hot topic of debate and discussion every single year. Like, it's it's wild how different it's been over the past couple of years. As far as skill-based matchmaking goes, I've talked a lot about it over the years, and my personal recommendation as to what I think could be a really good idea, brought this up over the course of the years, but if we think back to it, on Call of Duty World at War, there was a playlist called Boot Camp. It was a playlist set up for new players that were under level 8, where all the new players could go in, play strictly team deathmatch to get a feel for the game, Game, and then once you obviously hit level 8 and beyond, you wouldn't have access to it anymore. Meaning by that point in time, you should already kind of have an idea of how the game's played, how the maps flow, how the weapons work, and I feel like that kind of same 
process could work in newer Call of Duties as well. If you have under or over X amount of hours played, you can be in the stronger skill-based matchmaking while you're still learning the game, but once you've hit like say 24 hours, 48 hours of in-game playtime, then at that point in time, you should have a pretty good idea of how the game's played, and then the SBMM can be a little bit more relaxed, so I don't know. Now, I'm not saying it's like a flawless idea or anything like that, but the idea of those uh, building blocks were already there. Besides the talk of skill-based matchmaking though, I really can't stress enough how much fun I've been having with this game. Been saying it a whole lot, I love all of the original MW2 maps, and I have just been straight up dorking out on them all day. For the past like week and a half since we've had the beta, I've been losing my mind over it. It's been genuinely such a blast. I actually managed to hit a collab with this thing. Oh my god. For every collateral clip that I've seen on this game so far, it's all been hit with a KV. Oh, which isn't really a giant surprise considering that it actually uh, works for collabs, but it doesn't quite feel like a pea shooter like this thing does. Kinda on a streak with it though. Hold up. Hold up. 12. 13. Sorry. 15. Oh, I didn't need to challenge that when I was low. No. So that's what I'm talking about though. Like, dude, there's times where you just start hitting your shots with this thing and it feels so good. Oh, I know he's not happy about that. My fault, beast. Damn. Hey, 52 kills. Top frag the lobby. Not bad. See, sometimes I also end up just running the wrong way. I'm so used to how it feels in MW2. TDM Dom spawns, I'm expecting them to be just right there, right in my face. I know I was saying this earlier, but dude, I'm genuinely surprised of how nice Hardpoint is playing on these maps. Again, obviously because Hardpoint wasn't in the original MW2, it's gonna be like interesting learning how the whole spawn system works for this, but I still feel like if they're using the uh, headquarters locations for the Hardpoints, they could probably take like a little bit of logic and inspiration for how like the spawn flow and everything like that worked in headquarters and apply that to hard point we'll see how that goes honestly i'm kind of stoked to see if uh, they bring back the original ground war 9v9 10v10 12v12 whatever they end up doing how hard point's gonna play on that it's gonna be so nice also i can't believe i forgot to mention this earlier but yo look name plates over enemies heads we got that here in weekend two really do gotta give sledge their props on that their communication with everything right now has been very very good i'm really happy with it oh hello what? Bro, please don't tell me this game's lagging out. No! Help us. Please. Help. Oh my god, that right there. Yes, this is the PC beta experience. Man, that's so tragic. I was actually trying to play Favela Hardpoint, bro. Like I've been saying, though, the PC beta experience so far has been truly incredible. Non-stop playing this game. I've been streaming this game a whole lot over on my Twitch. If you guys would like to come by the live streams, feel free. Would love to have you guys. With this video going up on Saturday, I'm planning on streaming more today and tomorrow for like the last two full days of the beta. Also got a couple more video ideas that I want to get up over the course of this beta weekend like again right now i'm having a blast i'm thriving and i really hope that you guys are too having a good time with the mw3 beta but yeah on that note that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i really hope you guys enjoyed go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below how your pc experience has been so far or again if you have any uh, recommendations for me let me know what you guys are thinking of the beta thank you all so much for checking out this video leave a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you're new it's been rage and i will talk to you guys later take care everybody